Alright, chapter 16, let's go. So we have a fiend challenge on this stage. Grab this map and diary here. Grab this chest. This is the actual fiend challenge right here. So let's make sure we got the right stuff equipped. I'm going to be using our favorite Nimpo, of course, which is the Inazuma. Also want to make sure that we've got the right accessory on, which is enhancements and the boost power of Ninpo, which is the Falcon Gauntlet. So we do have that. That's what I want on. And perhaps we'll go for Armlet of Fortune for increased key power build up. So let's go for it. I'm going to go for the old faithful. Oh, not save the game. Uh, I meant to press Ninpo, but it pressed the statue instead. There we go. We're going to go for the old faithful uh, Ninpo. Just keep spamming the old Ninpo. Got to wait for them to uh, sort of work their way down as well, so. Just wait for them to come down. Keep on spamming away. Uh, we also picked up a red essence there, which is always good. And obviously, because we have the key armlet on, it gave us two Ninpo instead of one, which is very useful. And uh, just keep on spamming away with this. It might take a little while, but you'll get there. You can also put on the Windmill Shuriken as well if you want to. It's usually a good projectile for these types of enemies. And there we go. There's the chest which spawns at the top of this room. So feel free to pop a cheeky save if you want to. After you've grabbed your save, we need to wall run all the way up. And there we go. Grab some arrows if you need some from there. And this is our reward. Jewel of the Demon Seal. So feel free to apply that to whichever Ninpo you want to. And this bit is a bit of backtracking. Basically puts us underground. We have to work our way back to the surface once again. Nice. Uh, so basically we just follow this all the way to the surface. We've got to go through the uh, aqueducts and stuff like that. Some explosive shurikens if you want them there. Keep on moving forward. Grab some stuff from the shop there if you want to. There'll be a little cutscene play just there. Get a ninja flip up. Check this body here, see if there's anything on there. There is not. There is not. Wall run up. Gonna check this body. Nothing there.
You can kill those if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Keep on moving through these sewers. You can save the game there if you want to. Up the ladders. No fast traveling in this game. Okay, so we have eventually made our way back up to the streets. Uh, there is a shop here if you want to stock up on anything. Feel free to grab any upgrades or any potions and stuff if you need to. And once you're ready, we're going to head back to the original statue at the start of this city area. So we now have the stone tablet which we can put into that statue. Take these out. That will reward us with a Talisman of Rebirth if you need it, so feel free to grab that. We're going to head through this door. Keep on heading back, we're just going to keep going back towards that statue. So where it says Twin Serpents, that's where we're headed. And here we are. So we can uh, put the tablet in. all the pieces of the tablet that's why it's important to uh, grab those throughout our journey and we are back in the Hayabusa village So after that cutscene, we now have the true dragon sword, which is always good. You can grab a save and some items from the shop here if you want to. I'm just going to use our favorite Nimpo on those for a bit there. Not too much else to grab there, so you can just go straight through the doors if you want to. Let's see if we can buy any stuff from the shop. I'm going to go and stock up on some cores here, because I may use those a little bit later in the game. Other than that, just going to go up the ladders. Huh. 
And I believe we can grab an item from here. Jewel of the Demon Seal. So feel free to grab that and apply that to whatever Nimpo you want to. And the tablet here is already in. So we can go through. We unlock that door from the from that side there. Then we can grab this portal. And we have a boss fight coming up, so feel free to pop a cheeky save. Just gonna apply some accessories and such before the boss fight. So I'm gonna go in for Armlet of the Sun for increased attack. Other than that, we should be good. We got the Dragon Sword equipped, which we're gonna be using. We're good to go. So a lot of the time with this fight, we're basically just looking to get the flying swallow technique. Quite similar, really, to the previous armor fight. Uh, just try to dodge the incoming attacks and stuff. Like that. And uh, yeah, go in for the flying swallow. When you can. Try not to get grabbed like that. essentially it really just go in for the flying swallow and uh, try and dodge some of these incoming attacks if you can do she'll throw stuff at you and that's the fight and that's the end of chapter 16 hopefully this video helped you out if it did remember to like subscribe and drop a comment thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one well i was i was hoping what wait where are you show yourself through a wall? <laughs>